and welcome to your go market update for today the 8th of june 2022 mike smith senior analyst go markets here let's have a look at what's come across the news today of course overnight we saw u.s equities bounce again to remain within a short-term trading range as bond yields fell after six consecutive days of moving upwards and despite that world bank reducing global forecast by 1.2 percent the market shrugged that off and moved to the upside of that short-term range of course we have got key data out later in the week so the fact that we are range bound suggests that the markets are in a little pause to get some more information across it's that inflation number on friday which is critical u.s futures are very mildly negative in early trading choppy for most of the session so far asian indices are positive in early trading following that strong wall street lead asx is up around 0.8 percent which is towards the highs of the session at this stage, which makes up a little bit for yesterday's RBA shock, which sent the markets into a little bit of a tailspin towards the back end of the day. European futures are also pointing to a higher open. In the FX market, US dollar index has paused, and because of that, gold has moved its way back up to 1850, still trading within a range between around 1835 and 1870 to the upside. Oil is still hovering just above 120. Last we looked, it was 122 on the Brent CFD contract. And VIX has breached that important 25 support level to the downside, suggesting that markets aren't too uncomfortable about where things are for right now. Uh, but of course, we may see a change in that towards the back end of the week. Either way, of course. Bitcoin remains choppy within a range. It's trading between 30 and 32, so it's testing the upside of that today. Still an absence of buying pressure to push it upwards of that. On the data front, we've got German industrial production and Eurozone GDP due out later. Very little coming out of the US tonight. We saw a ramp up in the US tomorrow with weekly jobs. And of course, as I said, that inflation number on Friday. Japanese GDP was released earlier this morning, beat expected, but still slightly negative. So much to process for the markets. I'm not sure there'll be any massive moves either way prior to Friday, unless something significant that comes across the wires prior to then. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that are catching our eye this morning. The yen is under pressure across the board and we've got a euro yen monthly chart up here just to give context. And you can see we're at highs not seen since 2014. This is across the board with every yen pair that you look at at the minute and one wonders when the Bank of Japan may intervene. If we look at a daily chart, you can see that 141.71 breached yesterday, and we're now over 142, and still looking strong trading towards the top of the session. And if we look at the hourly chart, it doesn't look as though this wants to stop at all. We had a move higher yesterday in the Asian session, pulled back a little bit, then regained this level at 142, and then push through this morning in Asian trading to complete this trend continuation pattern. As I said, this is possibly not a bad place to be. We can't see any relief on the yen at all. So you can look at not only this, but with the yen crosses as well. The Canadian dollar yen is also perhaps worth a look. We're going to just pop up a US share chart and we're choosing Ford, which has been under the cosh really for most of the year you can see at the beginning of the year it was up around this 26 dollar level so it's more than halved if we look at its low the share price on this look as though we've got a sort of double bottom here but we failed to complete that pattern by breaking through 1383 we got some significant buy-in in yesterday you can see it's pushed right up against that resistance there and we've got a reasonable upside on this even in the short term we've got around six percent and potentially uh, a move up towards that 200 ema over the course of the next few weeks so that's certainly one that's on our radar today trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now